Well, hello and welcome back to Online Kids Church. And I am really excited today because we have got the first story in our new series, Meals with Jesus. And today we are looking at Lunch with Levi. Uh, I hope you enjoy the story because it is a really great story and I'm really excited to share with you. But first, let us pray for the session and then sing some songs of worship. Jesus, thank you that we are able to meet together, even like this. We thank you for the weeks that we've had, and we pray for the week that we've got ahead, that you will be with us each step of the way. We pray that as we hear your word this morning and your story, that you will speak to us. Amen. A lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my A lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. at the table that is ready for you. Your seat, your chair, your cutlery too, your plate, your food, your family, your laughs, your chaos, your nonsense, your time for chats. At this table with people who he loves to bits, make space for the saviour to come in and sit let him come and join you in madness and fun. He's got a soft spot for little ones. He tells them to come. Eat a meal with Jesus. Meet the man, hear him speak as he welcomes the needy and cares for the weak. He parties, he picnics with families and friends and invites to a banquet that will never end. Eat a meal with Jesus, hear his words, feel his heart, bring your food, grab your dinner, 
get ready to start. Come sit right beside him and pull up your chair. Dive into Luke's gospel. He's waiting right there. Okay, so before we hear today's story, let's have a game of Simon Says. Now, if you've not played Simon Says before, basically I'm going to give you some instructions. If I say Simon Says, jump up and down, you've got to jump up and down. But if I don't say Simon Says, you don't do it. So I'm going to try and catch you out by giving you loads of instructions with Simon Says. But if I don't say Simon Says, don't do it. Are you ready? So... Simon says, put your hands on your head. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your knees. Put your hands on the floor. Did you do it? Simon says, jump up and down. Simon says, turn around and stop. Did you stop? Simon says, hold one foot. Simon says, hop. And stop. Simon says, sit on the floor. Simon says, go to sleep. Snore. I didn't say Simon says. And Simon says, get up. Simon says, touch your ears, touch your nose. Did anyone touch their nose? And Simon says, go to sleep. Shh. Shh. That's enough, Simon says, for today. And let us hear today's story. Oh, hello. Hello, I'm getting ready for a really, really exciting visitor. So I've got out all my best cutlery and everything. Let me show you. I've got out my best shiny wine glasses, my best shiny plates, and most importantly, my best shiny spoons that I can even see my reflection in. Hello. Now, I am really excited because Jesus is coming to tea. So I've got everything ready, all my best things, and I think he's going to really enjoy it. So what I'm going to do... My last thing, because it's nearly here, is light the candle and then everything will be perfect. Oh look, there's Jesus. He's coming now. Hi Jesus. Ta-da! What do you think? I've got all the best things and I am ready for our meal. I can see you think you've done a great job, but I haven't come so you can impress me. I've come to help those who know they need me. Thank you, but I have already eaten. Wait, what? You ate with who? I ate McDonald's at Levi's house. Levi? Levi, that traitor, that tax collector. You ate with Levi, the sinner. Why? I have come to save sinners, people who know they need me. So in the story that we've just heard, Jesus ate a meal with someone rather surprising, didn't he? Jesus ate a meal with Levi, who was a sinner. It's the first story in our new series, and we are going to be looking at loads of different stories from Luke's Gospel over the next few weeks, and looking at who Jesus shared meals with. You might have some surprising people in those stories. The Bible tells us that Jesus came to save sinners. That was his mission, and that was why he spent so much time with people like Levi and his friends. Now, Levi was a tax collector. He was born of God's chosen people, but Levi swapped sides, and he worked for the enemy, the Romans. They, they were the ones, they were the ones who had taken over the land, and he took money from his own people and gave it to the enemy. But Jesus came to town and Jesus told Levi 
who to follow him. Jesus said, follow me, Levi. And Levi was absolutely delighted that Jesus would call someone like him. Jesus would pick someone like him to follow him. Levi was a cheat. He was a sinner and he needed help. So he left everything and followed Jesus. He was so happy that he threw a big party for Jesus. He invited all of his friends and his house was filled with people just like him. But some people were watching what was going on and were really unhappy. They thought that Jesus should know better. He should want to spend time with good people. Good people like me, good people. But Jesus said that he came to save sinners. People who think they are good look at what they say and do and believe that it makes them a good person. But they don't see that they are also sinners and they also need to be saved. The bad news is that we are all sinners. We all do things wrong. But the Bible has good news for us all. Jesus came to save us. However good we try to be, we still need to be saved by Jesus. So we need to always remind ourselves and hear that good news that Jesus has came, came to save us. We've got to hear him, hear him call and follow him. Let him save you. I know that I'm a sinner, but I also know the good news. Jesus came to save me and that is the best news ever and definitely deserves a dinner party.
so that is it from me today i hope you really enjoyed this session and next week it's a pretty special week because it's a fifth sunday we normally have an all-age service in church but obviously we can't do that at the moment but we are going for a zoom church so next sunday we'll have no meals with jesus session but please join us all on zoom at 10 o'clock next sunday for lots of fun with all our church family see you then Thank you.